Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. Now, if you are just coming across our channel, this is Jack Bar with their days. On this platform or on this channel, we provide relevant and cheap relocation opportunity, vocational opportunity. Yes, particularly vocational opportunity that will help you to be able to achieve your Jack Bar plan that is very cheap, very affordable. I mean, for an average man or woman to be able to achieve their Jackpot or relocation plan. Yes, those are the kind of informations that we provide on this platform. And we have achieved massive success, particularly on vocational opportunity alone. And in the coming days, uh, we will be providing more information regarding that, particularly the one that we shared to Portugal. Massive visa application has already been achieved or has already been received by many of the people that benefited from the information that we provided. And even though a lot of people thought that it is not possible, but yeah, but you know, there, there are a lot of people that, uh, that still have this pessimistic mindset to information that are shared, you know, uh, on YouTube platform. Yeah. But that is how it is. That is the beauty of life. Information that you provide is not meant to benefit everyone. Some people will see the negative aspect of it. Some people will see the positive aspect of it. So you just have to you know, know the type of mindset that you are using to you know, get information from this platform. Now, I want to share two institutions in Portugal that have similar structure like the vocational opportunity that we shared earlier this year. The reason I said that is because in terms of school fees structure, I mean, it is so, so, so affordable, very, very cheap. In fact, it is even cheaper than the vocational or some of the courses that were uh, released for the vocational opportunity. Yes, it is even cheaper. So which means you can you are expected to pay less than 1500 euro as tuition fee for maybe if you want to study bachelor program master's program or phd program yes in this school you can study for as low as 1500 euro for any courses or degree that you go for so, and it also allow you to be able to pay up to 10 times yes you heard me correctly, it also allows you to pay up to 10 times. So which means financially, you are not, I mean, constrained or azut, you know, into one box that at the end of the day, you will not be thinking, okay, how do I make payment? How do I do this? In fact, one of the things that made the vocational videos that we shared on this plant or this platform to go viral is because it is very, very cheap. Yes, it is very, very cheap and they require as low as, you know, uh, uh, high, high school certificate to be able to apply. So, which is similar to what we want to, um, uh, uh, the information I want to share today. I mean, of course, depending on if you want to go for bachelor program, as low as your high school certificate is all that you need to apply. And yes, this allows you to also travel with your family. So, and of course, when they, I mean, a lot of people have been asking a lot of, a lot of questions, which at the end of the day, we will still try to, as much as possible, to answer all of those questions by the time we are introducing the vocational opportunity for the coming academic session, which is for next year. Yes, I mean, because when they were issuing visa to everyone for the vocational opportunity, they were giving them 365 days visa. And people have been asking, oh, OK, what do we do after 365 days, blah, 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 and all of, and all of those things. But yeah, there are other ways in which you can achieve your residency opportunity. Because with 365 days, that means you will not be able to go and apply for residence permit. So the, the country expects that after your 365 days of study, you go back to your country. But that is not what it means. But I mean, some people don't have adequate information, so they misconstrue every information or everything they see online or they hear about. So, but I mean, that is that is not the goal of this video, okay? So yes, the two institutions I'm going to be sharing with you today, you can study a bachelor program, master's program, and even PhD program for as low as 1,500 euro, and you can pay up to 10 times. Yes. Now, the reason I'm sharing this video on time is to give you ample opportunity to be able to get all the required documents that you need on time. Because at least for in Portugal now, about 90 something percent of the school you will apply to in Portugal, you must have your document legalized, legalized by the 
Portuguese embassy in your country. So, of course, depending on the structure in Nigeria, I mean, Nigeria, in Nigeria, you will have to go to Ministry of Education, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs before you now go to embassy to say you want to go and legalize. And that takes time. So that is why this is the fourth quarter of the year 2024. And you have enough time to be able to prepare all your document down before February, when they will start rolling out application in mass for all international applicants to submit their application. So you have enough time to be able to gather all your documents. If you have some, some people want to jack back, they don't even have your, their BSc uh, certificate or transcript available. They don't have English proficiency certificate available. I mean, and you want to jack back, you are not serious. So this is an ample time for you to be able to gather all your documents and start planning your application. Yes. So, and like I said, it allows you to move with your family you have all the time to be able to legalize all your documents. And like I said, courses taught in this school, yes, the courses taught in this school, may, in fact, majority of the courses taught in this school are taught in Portuguese. But based on my communications and exchanges with most of the course coordinator, they state that you are allowed, they, would, they still give admission opportunity to international applicants coming from English speaking country because they allow English integration in their classroom, meaning that you can take your exams, tests, everything, you can write everything in English because all the lecturers in Portugal also understand English. They speak English fluently, but based on the rule of the school and for the course, the courses language of instructions are in Portuguese. So that is why they will be using Portuguese to teach in class. But there are other ways anyway that you can also use to be able to allow those lecturers to also communicate with you one-on-one -on -one in English. Many international students in Portugal are already doing that. But I mean, that's another strategy or another information, maybe for another video or if you are in a one-on-one -on -one session with me or during a comment session, if you ask that kind of questions during the comment session, I can, that, as I said, that is not the purpose of this video. So the goal of this video is to share with you BSc program, MSc program, PhD program that you can also apply for, whether you are from international speaking, uh, uh, English speaking country, or you are coming from a Portuguese speaking country, any country whatsoever can apply to them. This school is not very famous. I mean, it, it is like in for as a Nigerian, I'm sure every Nigerian will know if you want to compare uh, University of Lagos as an example with Yabatek as an example. On a world map, Unilag will be the, the names of Unilag will be known. Like almost everybody will would have heard of Unilag, but not all, all everybody would have heard of um, 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 Yabatek if you are looking at it from the perspective of Nigerian economy or society. That is what these two schools are. Most international applicants don't usually know about them, so they don't go to them. So, I mean, the most famous school in Portugal, maybe University of Lisbon, University of Porto, University of Mio, and the likes. But this set of schools, they are not widely known. They are not, you know, because they are probably because they are polytechnic, that offer all the courses that you can also find in universities and famous Universities, universities in Portugal. So, and yet when I saw it and I exchanged communications and correspondence with course coordinators, I'm like, oh, these tuitions are, are this cheap and our, our people are not really exploring them. So I, I want to share these two schools with everyone so that you'll be able to plan yourself, plan your applications and ensure that you're, uh, and ensure that you are well prepared. So I want to share these two schools to everyone so that by the coming applications calendar, you will be well prepared, well informed. You will know the type of school to apply to, to submit your application to. You will not be going into, uh, I, mean, I mean, unnecessary competitions with all the famous schools in Portugal and you are complaining that you're not getting admission. Yes. So, yes, I mean, because there are a lot of factors that determine who they give admission to because, I mean, it depends on a whole lot of things like your, your degree, the relevance of your degree to the course you are applying for, what you graduated with, two, 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 one, first class, and a whole lot of things determine the, the, the score that they give your applications. And, you know, a lot of people will complain, oh, yes, I'm not, I've applied to five schools, 10 schools, they are not giving me admission. 
But you are, I mean, if you are not well informed and well strategized, you will be missing out a lot. You'll just be wasting application fee money. Money. So that is the essence of this video. So without wasting much of our time, let me share my screen with you and show you details about these schools and how you can, you know, and their different academic calendar for the coming session. So the name of the first school is called Polytechnic of Guada. Polytechnic of Guada. And of course, this is their bachelor's program, okay? They have many courses, civil engineering for bachelor program. These are them, accounting, you know, equipment and environment, sports, you know, energy and environment. So different courses for um, uh, bachelor program, data science and artificial intelligence, computer engineering, accounting management, email resource management, you know, see them. They are ready on my screen. And of course, these two schools, I'm, I'm also going to be leaving the link to their website on the video description. So the first school, Polytechnic of Guada, this is the uh, bachelor programs for all international applicants that they can apply for tourism and leisure, tourism and hospitality management, okay? So yes, that is that. Now let's look at, let's look into the um, master's program. Master's program also have almost similar courses, civil, civil constructions, sports sciences, cybersecurity, mobile computing, technology for logistics, management, industrial management, you know, and so on, community nursing, applied health sciences, biotechnology, you know, ETC. That is for master's program in Polytechnic of Guada. Now, let's now look at the school fee structure for master's program. Yes, for master's program, let's scroll down and look at the school fee structure. So depending on the course that you want to do, and from what I'm even seeing here, Regardless of the course that you want to do, the first year, everybody for all international applicants, the first year, everybody pay 1,100 euro. The second year, everybody pay 1,100 euro. So which means for the duration of the program, the completion of the program, you pay 2,200 euro. Yes, I mean, you are seeing it on my screen. So these are the corresponding courses for all the master's program and the corresponding tuition fee that you pay. Yes. So, I mean, this is quite cheap. This is quite cheap and very, very affordable. And I mean, that is why I said, this is even better than vocational study that, I mean, they just issued to you 365 days of visa without the opportunity for a uh, uh, residence permit that you have to now be hustling to get residence permit after your one year of coursework study. This allow you to be able to get residence permit because you are regarded as a student. Yes, you are regarded as a polytechnic student in this school because it's, it is a two-year course. I mean, yeah, it is a two-year course. So that gives you an opportunity to get residence permit. So, I mean, that is to answer some of the azus of um, uh, why are they issuing three, six, five days and all of those things. But uh, like I said, we'll get to that on a different video entirely. So this is for master's program, okay? Now, let's look into the... Um, bachelor program, the tuition fee. See here, full-time international student pay 1,300 euro for tuition fee. Yes, um, bachelor programs in most EU country is I think three years. Yes, three years. And that means for every year, you are eligible to pay 1,300 euro for every year. So, and that also allow you to pay them instrumentally. 10 times you are allowed to pay your tuition fee 10 times. All institutions in Portugal practice the same thing. 10 times, everybody, regardless of what tuition fee you are charged, you are eligible for a 10 times instrumental, instrumental payment. So that is that for the bachelor program tuition fee. And of course, it is also similar to PhD uh, program. The tuition fee is also similar, but I mean, I don't intend to go deeper into uh, PhD because not everybody want to go into PhD or want to come to Portugal for PhD. But that is that. Now, let me quickly give you one or two tips regarding particularly for master's courses. Yes, for master's courses and PhD, sorry, master's courses and bachelor program courses. Now, based on my correspondence with at least three coordinators of, um, of um, courses in this school, now you can, I mean, international student or international applicants can at least look into courses in the areas of human resource management. Yes, because as, as you can see, one of the 
uh, ways in which they communicate in the classroom is English, as you can see here, marketing, okay? And then another, there is another one, which is multimedia communications. And then there is another one, which is management. So those, those are the courses that you can look into. Of course, those are the ones I communicated or exchanged, I mean, uh, email with, and they responded to me that, yes, they don't segregate whether you understand Portuguese or not. Yes, they teach in Portuguese in their classroom, but you can write all your exams, assignment, and everything in the in in the classrooms in English. And also, ninety something percent, or let me say ninety eight to ninety five percent of students or younger people in Portugal understand English because English is the second official language. So, which means. It is only when you are communicating with the elderly one that you will be struggling to communicate with them. But the younger ones, they do understand English. So which means in your classroom, at the end of the uh, every session, you can engage, with, make friends with, you know, uh, Portuguese uh, or your classmates to ensure that uh, maybe they summarize their session with you. Or what others even do is that you meet with the lecturer individually and you tell them that, oh, yes, you are struggling to understand what he or she is teaching in the classroom. And we would like, if he doesn't mind, to organize a maybe two hours or one hour sessions to summarize them with you via Zoom meeting on a week by week basis. That is how most international applicants coming from English speaking country, that is how they get by with some of those courses that allow them to come and study them in Portuguese. And that is how they've been doing everything in Portugal. So that is a tip for you. But of course, um, if you engage me, I will also give you more and more information regarding how you can get by with courses that are taught in Portuguese. So this is a school that the tuition fee, as we've seen together, is 1,100 euro per session, and it allows you to be able to pay them up to 10 times. Let me even show you something. For instance, if you want to enroll, see what it says here, you must pay the first installment of your tuition fee. See the first installment, 1,112 and school insurance fee, which in total, the uh, the the amount that you need to pay to confirm your place is one one hundred and twenty seven point fifty euro. I mean that's very cheap. That is the first installment of your tuition fee. So they are not joking. It is not a lie. It is already on their page. So you pay that when you want to confirm your place. That is when you have been given an admission. That is the first amount that you pay. I think this is for masters. For PhD, it is even I'm sorry for bachelor program. It is even lesser than this for bachelor program, the amount that they expect you to pay as your first installment. So, and this is how they will charge you up to the 10th installment that you will pay to complete your student um, applications in the school. So this is for Polytechnic of Guada. Now, let me share the second school with you. The second school is called Polytechnic of Viseu. Polytechnic of Viseu, in this school also, you can study bachelor program, master's program, PhD program. And one of the beauty of this school, again, is the fact that most of their courses are taught like part-time. Yes, because according to them, most of the courses are taught after work, meaning after you've gone for your nine to five job, you've done your normal job, and uh, maybe you close, depending on the type of work that you do anyway, most of their classes start by around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. every day every class session yes they call it after work sessions and i'm going to show you that shortly but most of their courses are taught after work so which means it allows you to go to ozu from morning till evening then evening you go to classes you do everything you do you take your course and i mean it, it is very very good so and uh, they have um, high school agricultural high school education so depending on the courses or program that you want to apply for everything is already here uh, uh, bachelor degree is taught, master's program, PhD program, all of them are available. So let's quickly check, okay, what if you, depending on the courses that you want to do, say BCU School of Agriculture, uh, these are the type of courses that you can take for master's program, of course, for master's program for this School of Agriculture, for School of Educations, you can uh, uh, study master's in applied communications, ETC, and I mean, as, as you can see on the screen, for School of Health, you can do community nursing, child health nursing and pediatrics. So an ETC for uh, higher school of technology and management, you can study organizational consulting. And as you can see them on my screen, master for master's program. And they have similar structure with respect to
courses for bachelor program and also for postgraduate program in for PhDs and the like. This is uh, the Seoul School of Technology and Management, Corporate Finance, uh, Computer Engineering, Information System, ETC, Marketing, Tourism Management. So depending on what you want to do. Now, let's now quickly check their school fee structure as well. Now, this is the school fee structure. And according to them, they said that here, yeah, for international students, international students, it means Popular Annual Para Estudiante Internacional. What it means that for international students, national students pay 1,050, while international students, Propina Annual Para Estudiante Internacional, international students pay 1,600 euro. And you can also pay them instrumentally up to 10 times. Yes, you can pay them up to 10 times. So, I mean, if you have schools that are their courses, the, 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 the amount of money they ask you to pay as tuition fee is as cheap as this. You have nothing to bother yourself about. So that is why I want to quickly share these two school informations to everyone so that you guys can prepare yourself on time so that by the time they start rolling applications from say January or February of the coming year, you will be ready to submit your application. For first phase, yes, for first phase, you are able to get your application for first phase. That will give you ample time to be able to gather all the necessary resources financially and otherwise that you need to be able to make your move. Yes, so the, the earlier you get your visa, the earlier you are able to plan yourself for the next September or October intake. I mean, it is a very good one. So that is why we want to also provide this information to the general public. This school is not very, very famous with respect to the fact that uh, international students don't really go there. Uh, yes, they don't really go there, but it is a well-recognized and certified institution in Portugal that you can do bachelor program, master's program, or PhD program. And as, as we can see, the tuition fee are also very, very, very cheap. Yes. So, of course, this is Jack Bar with their days. If you want, if you have any questions, have any clarifications regarding this particular institution, drop them on our comment section. And if you need a one on one session with us to be able to strategize how you can cope with courses taught in Portuguese, you can also engage us in the one on one consultation session. I will try as much as possible to be able to help you out on how to strategize yourself of course don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we post informations and opportunities like this and I, I can bet it with you many many of them are still coming like this because we are researching them on a daily basis because this is the best time of the year where all school will be gathering all information or pushing out all informations that are necessary for the next academic session so you need to stick and turn on the notification bell so that by the time we drop information on our page or on our channel, you will be the first person to get notifications. Of course, don't forget to follow us also on all of our social media platform and stay connected with us. We love you very, very much. Thank you once again for watching our channel. Till we come again with another opportunities. Bye-bye for now.